For your safety, the village is monitored by CCTV. The color of the metal is important in telling the smith when the iron is at the right temperature for working. That's why the smith worked in dark conditions. Firefighting in England was left to small local groups until after the Great Fire of London in 1666. Even then, it took nearly 200 years for the first... Show youngsters how things used to be. Please, gentle You can see a toy and bookshop. a camera store. The before the dawn of the digital age. A corner shop where you can buy, well, virtually anything. In the days before supermarkets, if you wanted salt or soap, jelly or jelly was among the stock. If you didn't have any money, the owner might give you tick or credit so that you could feed the family. Look around at the brand names. There may be a few you recognize, but many of them are long gone. Drinking the atmosphere of the Nelson's Head. Here we are at Downthwaite's, the chemist, druggist and veterinary suppliers. If you fell ill, you would see your doctor and pick up a prescription, just as you would today. Pills and potions did not come in convenience. Televisions, typewriters, and all sorts of trinkets and treasures from the past. You'll find many items here to jog your memory and trigger recollections of times past. If you have any donations for memory lane, Please speak to a member of the Hot Farm staff. Aladdin's cave of old fashioned electrical goods, washing machines, toys, televisions typewriters, and all sorts of trinkets and treasures for the public. <laughs> six feet high at the shoulder, and needed shoes the size of dinner plates. In the days before lorries, the horses were kept for hauling wagons of hops to the brewery, and then delivering the barrels of beer to the pubs. In here you can see some of the tack needed by the horses and a collection of photographs showing them in action. <laughs> 